Okay, quick operation of the locator. Power on. Takes a moment for it to boot. Okay, it's ready. Now I'm going to turn down my sensitivity. That's the lower two controls here. I'm going to turn that down so it's not making so much noise until I get close. Now, what's important about locating a sond is orientation. I have to be perpendicular to my, to my uh, push rod. If I try to go the same direction as the push rod, the readings will not allow you to locate. So you have to be perpendicular. You can see the intensity level here. The arrows here tell me I need to go that way to get to the sond. And as I'm on track here, this compass is going to tell me that I'm, I'm lined up with my sound as I should be. So I'm going to start moving closer to the sound. We're going to start seeing the intensity level going up. When I get closer, it will start giving us an audio signal. So now I'm right over the sound. When I get right on it, we're going to max out at 999, roughly. Move the left of it, it's going to drop off. If I move to the right, it's going to drop off. Over the back, same thing. So that's how you're going to kind of pinpoint in where your location is based on the intensity level. And I'm right on it. You've got your depth meter right there. Right now I'm about 15 inches away. Of course, if I lift up, that will change along with the distance. And that's really all there is to locating. Important to be perpendicular.